waiting for the train to take my moto and backpack back to Phnom Penh. Just a simple video blog for, I think it's April 18th, 2017. Train stations. So that leads me to the theme of this video blog. Train stations. Train stations. Train stations are excellent places to think about things. Great place to relax. Um, sometimes I go to the train station even when there's no train or I'm not waiting to take a train. <laughs> Just because they have a certain energy where um, it's like a looseness. It's like an, uh, a space between the gap of uh, appointments and arrangements and busyness and space and time and whatnot. So I highly recommend train stations as a place to go and think about stuff. Usually, preferably a small train station in the countryside, like where I am now as a provincial. Let me look around. See? Good. And places like these, I think I have about a, a half hour to wait for the train. I'll put the moto on the train. It's four dollars to Phnom Penh from here, five dollars to add the motor, motorbike. So it's a, I just came down here for Khmer New Year. It's a great little getaway. Here comes a cow. Well, he's hanging out in the background, maybe. See him? Over there? So, as I mentioned in the previous video blog, I like to mix up the blogs. Not always doing 360, maybe I'll do some standard stuff too. It's just a lot simpler. Um, maybe I'll, let me take a little walk while I'm here, and you can see, hopefully, some more of the station. No? Yeah. And this is provincial Cambodia. Southeast Asia. Train started running back in... Um, oh. Train started running back in December, I think, of this year. And consequently, it's a great way to um, go check out the countryside. It goes from Phnom Penh to uh, to Kayo, to Kampot, and then Kampong Som, also known as Sinukville. And apparently the the branch to Batambong will be working soon, I guess in six months, they say. And so once that happens, you could take the train from Bangkok up to Arana Partet, and then uh, I guess they'll get this the, the extension running all the way to Arana Partet, so you could take the train from Bangkok to Phnom Penh, Sunukville, they will connect it all eventually. Um, then you some snacks, if you like, while you're waiting for the train. Who's today? Hello. Hello, how are you? What is your name? Ache. Mache? Ache. Oh, Ache. Ah, Kamachi Ache. Lo, Chmoi. Bajet. Bajet? Bajet. His name is Bajet. Where is he? There he is. Bajet! Yum Chmua Jack. 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 Or Mr. J. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sam Lang Can you Chiran? I asked him what his name is. So here is the cow I was telling you about. Just we've got some time to kill. Let's have an interview with the cow. Hey baby. Hey. There you are, my sweetheart. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, he's shy. Anyway, not much more to talk about, except that uh, train stations are, as I said, a great place to um, think, plan things out. Um, it has something, as again, it has something to do with the space, the gap between appointments. There's like a spongy netherworld that you find at train stations, especially small, remote, or provincial train stations like this one here in Takeo province, which I recommend. I spent a few days here in Takeo. I could come back 
I might come back, and maybe I will come back. Not much to do here, uh, quote unquote, in terms of sightseeing. There's some. It's more of a real Cambodia type experience, or uh, if you have a laptop like I do, um, you can get a lot of shit done because they have good internet here. So, loose of limits, I take to the open road with you, and I'm glad you're here. I'm Mr. J, this is 360 with Mr. J, and this is just a standard HD video. All the best. So these are the various snacks and things you can buy while you're waiting for the train. Uh, they have little snack shops. Yeah, this is where I bought my iced coffee before. This is the place. <laughs> you have some fish, tray. I hope, AK. Mmm. Yeah. Mango. Pringles. Look at that. Is it Pringles? Yeah. Pringles. This is the sign of market penetration when a can of Pringles can make it all the way to a little train station in Takayo, Cambodia. Hey. And they're barbecue flavor too, no less. And of course, the arch rival of Pringles, Mr. Potato. <laughs> Susa Day? Just looking. What do you have? Mango? Manoa? Oh, pineapple? Manoa? Manoa. Little fish action? Hey, how are you? <laughs> huh? Kim prop, Kim prop, new moat den. Yeah. Chicken. Delicious. Fly them on. Wow. One dollar twenty-five. Prop one. That's not bad. Hmm. Maybe I. Plow. 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 A K. This part? The leg. Maybe I get one. Oh my god. Come get sun. Prahail. That means I'll think about it. Get sun. What's this thing? Takao Railway. Mm. Little bag of shrimp. Right? Good. The shrimp lady is cutting watermelon, uh, pineapple. See the old ceiling? Well, they rebuilt it, actually. It's a new ceiling. But the old cross beams and stuff. Yes. So, kind of basic, but it has everything you need for a train station. What's back here? Old ticket building. Old building. Restroom. This is where the restrooms are. Oh, on the other side. What else? Takeo train station. April 18th, 2017. Hey! And here's the ticket lady. She works until four o'clock and then stops. Hey, ticket lady, how are you? Oh, Good. Yeah. I'm Mr. J. This is Takayo train station where I'm waiting for the train to take my, to get back to Phnom Penh to, uh, Interview for some more jobs regionally, locally, and internationally. I have a couple irons in the fire in the States. It just shows you how fluid you need to be in this world economy. <laughs> really, actually. That could be the theme of this, of this blog. My motto? 
This bag I've had for 13 years. It's a Kelty. Lasts forever. Motorcycle I bought. Someone drove it from Hanoi to Phnom Penh just three or four years ago. I bought it then. A couple hundred bucks. It's still running. Now it's more beat up than it was because I lent it to someone who wiped out on it a few times. Anyway, that's how it goes. Okay, that's it. I'll cut that into the video. And by the way, these videos, these video blogs are not really refined, nor do I care to agonize over them, as I have in the past with other videos. If you do a Google search for my documentary called Book Wars, for instance, that took four years to edit, and that's just insane. Looking back on it, isn't it? Isn't that insane? Hey, hey, that's insane. Wow. Perfect place. Perfect place to crack an egg on the edge of the train station sign. See, they give you a little pack, a hard-boiled egg and a pack of salt and pepper for a thousand real. That's 25 cents. And this is a good snack for pre-train rumination. And then once I'm on the train, I'll get a chicken leg. Well, I have one, actually. I have a chicken leg. Dollar twenty-five, six thousand real. Well, dollar fifty. Just waiting for the train to come. Like I said, this is the place to hang out, to think about stuff, <laughs> ruminate.
here's a baby on the train who's looking at me, staring at me so carefully, right here. Hey. How are you? Good? Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Don't want to smile? Smile. Smile. No. No, it doesn't. Here's the train. Oh, yeah. The air con is not working so well. So we have the window open. Right, baby? Travel by train always makes me so sleepy. Like I want to just doze off all the time.